And now news from Kashmir, a ground report from the line of control where students are missing education as several schools are shut for months altogether due to the constant Pakistani shelling. Although there has been a relative lull in Pakistani firing, thousands have been forced to migrate to camps away from their villages. For the past seven months, government schools like this one at Jhangar in Rajori have been shut. The area is very close to the line of control and frequently Pakistani shelling has caused heavy damage. And that has meant about 300 students like Radhika haven't been to school. Radhika ji, you go to school? No. Why? It's closed for seven school. Why is it closed? There is a lot of firing. So, there is also a school here. You are far away from 20-22 km. There is a far away from the city. Why do you go there? My father doesn't have enough money. The nearest school from Jhangar is 20 km away in Naushera. But not everybody can go. Those who are poor people who don't have income or source, how will they go there? They need to pay for 100 or 50 rupees. They need to pay for 3 children. यहाँ से क्राया खर्च के निशाना जाके पढ़ने के लिए जा रहे हैं आधे तो छोड़ दिया स्कूल ही छोड़ दिया बच्चों ने। Nazia, who's in class seven, is among the lucky ones whose family has invested in her education despite all odds. जो मेरी मामा मामी पापा ने सारा पैसा था ये मुझ पर लगा दिया तो वो मुझे पढ़ाना चाहते हैं क्योंकि वो मेहनत मजदूरी करके जो पैसा भी था मुझ पर लगा दिया मैं भी have migrated from villages close to the LOC due to Pakistani shelling. 3,500 have been living in camps set up by the government. Though many schools have reopened, government schools in the Jhangar area still remain closed. The district administration says it's making arrangements so that students don't miss out on their education. The formal classroom teaching has been deprived of this time and we have the alternative Compensatory classes in key and camps smell again. People living at the line of control have to bear the brunt of Pakistani shelling every time. But students are becoming the worst sufferers. With schools shut for months altogether, it can well be the end of education for many. With Ravinder Singh in Sirnagar Zafar Iqbal for NDTV.